Hello, what's going on guys, Ronaldo here and welcome back to this another uh, video tutorial. So if you watch my previous, uh, previous video, and uh, this will be the uh, previous video, that what we did in the previous video. So we just changed the, the color of our uh, layout themes into our main canvas and then we enlarge the text, we apply a uh, different font uh, into our text view. So that is what we did in the previous tutorial. So if you're just new to this video, a series you can just uh, go to my channel and, s and scroll or look for the playlist that I made I think it's Android uh, playlist so you can just watch this tu tutorial from that playlist okay so okay so now uh, what we will uh, what we will going to learn in this uh, tutorial will be uh, the uh, adding the button okay so we want to add a button supposedly we want to add a button into our android application so that is what we are going to accomplish in this uh, activities of our android uh, app tutorials so instead of this what you can see right here is just a text <coughs> that will appear that will appear in your screen so excuse me that will appear in your screen so now uh we want to add a button okay so we want to add a button then uh, okay so this is important thing that you remember that uh, okay so supposedly we want to add a button exactly uh, below this line of text hello developer okay we want to add right there but uh, as expected it, it is not uh, uh, it is not showing the the, uh, the result that you want it but instead it's showing next to the uh, first line that that we added before in our uh, tutorial and that's gonna be a problem if we will using the uh, linear layout so what we can do to fix uh, it so what we can do how we can fix it so when using linear layout you can see right here inefficient layout weight use a layout width of CRD fee instead of prop content for better performance when only a single widget in a linear layout defines a width it is also it is more efficient to assign a width or height of CRD fee to its sense it will absorb all the remaining space in a width with a declared width or height of CRD fee it does not have to measure its own size first so uh, to fix that uh, we can just click the fix okay we can just click the fix okay so it, it will just add uh, to the resources so now if you look into our code as you can see it says right here android layout weight one okay we can just delete this one instead the android layout weight okay so I think it will disappear if we will just but I have a code right here which you can use also uh, instead of that we can just uh, use this one into our button under layout okay so you can see what will happen okay so let me just uh, delete and then replace it right there okay now so now but the button is still appearing next to each other next to the first line and we don't want it so uh, what will we going to do to fix to fix okay uh, okay notice that that it is in the linear layout okay so uh, okay uh, there's another thing that you need to remember so uh, notice right here we didn't set the orientation of our android so uh, it is also important to add this line of codes android orientation and then this will be this will uh, fix the display when we are uh, in the android device so we run it to our android device so notice notice it how it changes the the uh, display uh, before it is uh, next after this line of codes and now it's down to the 
it is go down so that is what we want because we will we instead of uh, not assigning the orientation so we want it to assign an orientation uh, into our uh, XML code so that uh, when we never we run it to the uh, Android studio it will know that the display only is a vertical not the horizontal so okay that's it that's it uh, okay then the next things that we will be add okay let me just go to the strings xml okay only the uh, one button that we add so we will just delete this one okay so into our sources we will just delete that one and save you know and get back to activity main that html so now we will add something like uh we want something like a design not only just a plain white okay so we just okay on click and says on click this is the cool things of unrestricted to the pictures because it, it's gonna let you know uh it's gonna warn you what are the uh, error or le it let you know so this, that is the cool things features of unrest studio also okay so hard coded text extreme it sets you use string resources so i think we already put that okay so let's now uh, start to check it out okay it's uh, so activity only method does not exist so okay it's saying that only method is not exist so that is true on click on exit button click is not exist yet but we will just create it later on so now uh, we just change the design of this one so we go to the uh, design then we just close this one we go we click the button exit button and now we didn't assign an ID for this exit button okay so we will just uh, type the ID uh, we we'll just type the ID and then uh, we will just name it exit btn okay so so we will now we are where we are clicking so now we are in the exit btn so what is this okay okay what is this we already seen it okay so now we assign an id now we go to the all attributes and then uh, we go to we search for style so because we want to apply a style into our button okay so we go to the style and instead of this one we will change it to button uh we can click this one button world uh, i don't like it so just click this one so it will change like that okay so for me that is pretty much okay but there is another problem right here uh you can see it's touching uh, exactly the above line of course you know. and since we we want something like uh, a space okay so uh, we can just go to the layout uh, margin to move a little bit down we just go to the, to the uh, layout line button or layout margin layout margin then we go to the button oh no to the top so you want to a margin in the top so we can just uh, directly type it into the this one right here so android uh, lay, uh, layout margin uh, margin top android at margin top and then we can just write uh, 20 dp okay so i think that is okay so uh, if we try to look at it's move a little bit down and okay so it's not uh, touching so close this one first line so now uh, since we already applied the the uh, style of our exit button what we want what the next thing we will do is just we will just uh, okay so we will go to the to our main activity xml i mean activity java file and then we can add this one okay so we can just add this one we can just add this one okay this method right here so the method that is missing right here this one on click method does not exist so after you go to the activity xml you, you will go to the main activity the java and then uh, press enter and then add this few, li few line of codes okay 
okay so whenever you need the codes right here in mine in this notepad plus plus so i will just put it in into my blog so you can visit my blog uh, to copy this code uh, so whenever you will just uh, want to explore or want to study this code so you can just get it from my blog just just scroll down to the link in the description so you can get this one so or visit my blog so i will just link it to my blog or uh, the link is on the description okay so okay so once you done that okay so no worries for the error we will just uh import it so phrase alt enter to import okay so as you can see it's really it's importing so now uh we can also press okay so uh, is wrong what i need uh, the click okay uh just wait cannot be so okay what i miss what i did something wrong okay so oh, public void unaccept button cannot be so button b unaccept uh, no so because we don't we don't have this one okay we don't have it so we just delete it okay only the accept button so uh there's something missing right here well it's on exit button on exit button doesn't ex exist okay cannot be swapped single so why is not in okay let me just delete that one okay so there must be a problem cannot uh, cannot cannot be swapped symbol view okay so get back to my note next okay okay uh, it should be this one but uh, I think there should be a problem there should be a problem this is method okay uh, since this is method okay, let me just delete it and uh, okay 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 I'm okay, good at and then try to put it right here Okay, that's it now since it is a method okay, we just import it okay so and now uh, if I will go to my Android phone okay we go to my Android phone okay uh, let me run it again to my Android phone one finish this is a function or a, uh, a function that will be in book whenever there is a click on our uh, uh, on accept button or into our button okay so so whenever we click this one it it should exit since we call this finish uh, function okay so finish function is in the library uh, uh, is, is belong to the class the library of Java so you don't have to get confused okay so if you click exit uh, it's exit our app so that is uh, that's working so and we fix the uh, problem or the error that we see uh, into this uh, to the button uh, okay so that is for uh, in this video guys so uh, hopefully you learn something or the exit and how to uh, implement the action listener so whenever someone click the exit button and then it will apply the method that 
uh, we just created into our main activity java file so that is what we accomplished in this tutorial guys so thanks for watching see you in my next video